Welcome to your support group podcast, home of the number one podcast that supports you at what you like to do. As always, it's Kenny and it's Q. That sounds better than last week's Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been going on, Q? How was your week? My week was weakened. That's for sure. Hmm. So, yeah, just, you know, a lot of moving parts, home, job, other job, and other job. So. <laughs> you work too much, man. Oh, you got three jobs. You're lazy, man. Look. You're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the truth of the matter is, it's a shame that we have to have so many jobs or wear so many different hats in today's economy. Um, I mean, it, it makes it kind of hard for home life to balance out a little bit sometimes, but I mean, you figure if you don't do it, it won't be a home to go to. So you <laughs> facts <laughs> catch 22. So, I mean, you know, you want everything to, to be prosperous and, and 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 balance out and and do well. So yeah, I I fully understand the the wearing of different hats when it comes to work, work and work and work. <laughs> um, for me, uh, I had to go do my man thing. You know, I had to go take my wife's car to go get the oil changed and tires rotated. You know, yesterday, uh, had the weekend off, another weekend off. Um, so I went to go do that. You know, man up. So it wasn't the oil change and the tire rotation part that that started to tee me off. It was the coming back from Charlotte back to Gastonia um, <laughs> part that kind of teed me off. So I was getting ready to hop on the highway and I realized 85 was backed up. I said, well, I'm not going to go down 85. I'll just, you know, I haven't seen downtown in Charlotte in a while. So I just drive through downtown and go down Wilkerson head into Gastonia. So I drove through downtown and first of all, never seen so many cars without no tag, no 30 day tag, no, no fake out of date tag, just no tag. Just driving In through North Charlotte. Carolina? Just driving through Charlotte. I said, <laughs> Oh my God. One kept on looking around and everything. He was swerving, driving in two lanes and stuff like this. I was like, look, dude, I'm normally not mad if you hit my car, but you ain't got no tag. Nine times out of 10, you ain't got no insurance. That means my insurance company is going to have to pay out and it's going to cost me more money in the end. I said, so you need to stay in your damn lane. Then I get towards downtown and listen, I have nothing against big girls. I love my, I love my big girls. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing about being big and sexy. But when you put on cut off jean shorts, and they're so far up in there that it looks like a crater impact. Then you got on the halter top with the belly out. And so the shorts are even more hidden. I thought she was naked walking down the street. But she was with her girls. Look, I'm, I'm going to tell you the God honest truth. Lizzo got some of y'all messed up. Okay? <laughs> Lizzo got some of y'all messed up. It's all right to be big and sexy, but it's some of it's out of control. Some of the stuff you shouldn't be wearing. You know what I'm saying? Make it sexy. Make it presentable. But that that was uncalled for. So I was like, I wish I wish I was bold enough to pull out my camera and record it. I might have th threw a clip in here right now just so y'all can understand what I was seeing. And shout out to my big girls about that. I, like I said, I have nothing against the big and sexy. But that was just uncalled for even the guy in the car beside me just looked and he looked over at me and he put his head down and i was like yeah dude i i, I don't i don't know what's going on here yeah i i say i i love my fluffy and fabulous ladies you know you, we can do things to be sexy sexy doesn't mean to be naked there's a time to be naked and there's a time to not be naked and I just don't know. Like I go to the gym every day and I see some stuff too. And, you know, I like to be comfortable when I work out. So if 
when I turn my head just to, you know, in between sets, and right. all I can see is your cuda cuda because your shorts are so short. How you and your legs, why, ma'am? I you giving what you me did an eye summer. <laughs> you you giving me too much right now. You're giving me too much. And I know the dudes all around looking like, whoa. You know, that's the Why thing. Why to see everything? That's the thing I'd be saying, you know, and, you know, uh, when they when they talk about when they talk about tights or leggings and things like that, like those are not 24 hour pants. I'm sorry. Those are for <laughs> workouts. Those are for if I got to run to the store right quick. Those are not 24 hour pants. Um, lately, they've been finding out that some of the fabrics that they've been using are actually bad for you, you know, so. Um, I can't name off all the fabrics that are bad for you. That's not my job, but go look it up. <laughs> yeah, go look it up. But they're saying that some of that stuff is bad for your. Uh, wow. And, yeah. <laughs> your hooter cooter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be careful with YouTube because I said something about elections and it's uh -oh. always some trouble. So anyway. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm not done with my Charlotte in, but, um, I don't know what it is with some of these roads. It, it, it's just sad. You got all these new buildings, but horrible downtown roads, like potholes and the whole, like I, I'm in the new car, not the old car. So it's no way that I have a bad front end. Like the whole front end of the car was going. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I was like, what in God's name? Like, I felt like I was a basketball getting dribbled. I was like. Bleh, 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 bleh. That's terrible. And then finally, when I get to Wilkerson, it was so many grandmas and grandpas out there driving. Like, it, it, it was scaring me. Like, they was doing like 25 and 45. And I'm looking at them. I'm trying to get around. And they're like, oh, you, you can't pass me, sonny. And they get right in front of me. And I'm like. And then I try to get over the other way. They're like, oh, you're still trying to pass me, sonny. And they swing back the other way. And I'm like, oh, God. This is about to take forever. And so it took me about an hour and some change to get from Charlotte. Normally, when I go down 85, it takes me about 25, 30 minutes. And so I finally made it home. Um, the, the morning actually started off kind of awkward because I thought my nephew's graduation and shout out to my nephew, Josh. I thought his graduation was Saturday morning. And so I woke up extra early calling my parents. They wasn't answering the phone, woke them up out of their sleep. Um, sorry, mom, pop, uh, woke them up out of their sleep. And they was like, no, the graduation is Monday. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going back to bed. But then I had to, like I said, get up and go do my husbandly duties. Yep. And speaking of husbandly duties, we can get right into the subject. Dun, da, 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 dun. Puppy power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh <laughs> so the question of the day or the topic of today is when you marry somebody, do you marry their whole entire family? Uh-oh, hmm. you adjusting the glasses. <laughs> 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 now, I know for a fact that you at least got to be cordial. Um, you got to be cordial when you're meeting the, the family, when you just coming into the marriage. I, I ain't saying you got to bend over backwards and, and take it up the wazoo, you know, on how they treat you. But um, you got to be cordial. You got to, you know, meet people, shake hands. Um, no kissing babies. I don't know where them babies came from. Uh, I don't know your habits. I ain't doing all that. But um, shake hands and, and be cordial. Um, but then as time goes on, you, you really don't have to do all that that's just my philosophy like i'm still cordial with the extended version <laughs> parts of a family like hey how you doing cuz yeah da, 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 and keep it moving 
But like, as far as like my in-laws, like my direct in-laws, like my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, we, we really cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I love them guys. Like they was my own parents, but outside of those two people, you know, that is just an extension. <laughs> like, I'm like, Hey, I, I care for you, but I'm not about yeah. to, you know, go crazy or anything like that. So I have that philosophy because I just think it's backwards that some people go out of their way for families of married people. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They're in-laws, like the the extended parts. I'm not talking about the mother-in-law and the father-in-law. I mean, some, some people out there hate their father-in-law and mother-in-law. That's on them, but still. Um, and, and it's back and forth the same way but um i'm just under the impression that beyond them i I really don't have to like you i really don't have to have a conversation with you kenny's just like a kick rocks with bare feet (laughs) yeah yeah and and then too you know you, you got those people and i like to call them the newsy people um they just want to just be around you just to pick information anyway, you know? So, oh, da, 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 da. oh well, Kenny, Kenny, to make a husband, he ain't worth a damn, da, 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 and he did this and he got this and, you know, yeah. Hey, with me and my wife, you, you, you probably don't even know what time of day we wake up or anything like what we ate for breakfast. Cause we, we don't talk about it, you know, yeah. that's just the way it is. True. Yeah. Um, I would say like when you, before you get married in the courting stages, you need to find out what is the hold that the person that you're with has with their relatives. Because some people are so like, are they the kind of person that are independent thinkers? Like, Okay, like I want to help you, but I'm not going to help you to where it becomes a detriment to myself. Or are they the kind of people that just just do, 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 and then keep finding themselves in a bind? Because you know you have those relatives that every time you look around, something, oh, and this happened, and they, can you believe they fired me? And then you start asking questions and you find out they showed up 27 times late to work and wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing. And now they need rent for the last three months and want to know, can you, you give it to them? What? What? (laughs) (laughs) What? And so, yeah, you have to be cognizant of that. You have to, to see how, how does your person rock with their relatives? Because if they, if they keep on dishing it out, like, okay. Uh, so every time somebody knock on the door and every time somebody call on the phone, oh, I need you to stop what you're doing. Like everything's an emergency. Right. Like just because you poor plan don't mean it's emergency for me. Cause I, you know, I got a whole family over here that I'm trying to do stuff with. Exactly. Exactly. And that, that, that was my next point. Um, they're still your flesh and blood family. But once you marry somebody, that's your family. That's your area of focus. That little square right there. You know, not your mother, not your father, not your in-laws, not nobody. Your your focus is on that square. You know, at the end of the day, like you said, everybody outside of that square can kick rocks. That's my philosophy. Like I, you know, I'm I'm a solo dolo person anyway. You know, you find me, I'm most happiest by myself. Um you know, if I'm out, if I'm out there in the living room, I'm playing with Carson or me and Tamika talking. That's that's my that's my safe space. That's my home. That's my family. You know, everybody outside mm-hmm. of that, you know, is just an extension. Mm-hmm. And that that goes for my mother and father too. You know, it's it's biblical. You know, you you get married, you leave home. You leave home for a reason, <laughs> so they don't be all up in your business telling you, you know, stuff that you don't need to know. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm not saying that like you trying to live a sneaky or a double life or anything like that. But sometimes people say stuff 
and it gets you to thinking and it gets you to seeing things that are not there. And that's not fair to your relationship. That's not fair to your marriage. That's not fair to what y'all are working on together. Because it, like I've always said in past episodes, it's not a competition. Y'all are a team. So if somebody is in, in, infiltrating, I can't talk today, <laughs> infiltrating the team and getting your partner to think in another manner, then it's going to cause some kind of friction down the line. You know, mm -hmm. um, I'm just throwing this out there and making it up as I go along. Say, for example, your husband without consulting you, decides to go and borrow $1,000 from somebody, right? So now the guy wants $1,000, you know, it comes time to pay the $1,000. Now your husband looking at you and is like, hey, can you help me pay this $1,000 back? How would you feel? Uh, I'd be like, oh, first of all, what did you borrow $1,000 for? Because uh, if you ain't tell me about it, that means you, you spent it on something, but what did you spend it on? <laughs> You know, I need to know that. Like, yeah, I'll be feeling some type of way. Right, right. So uh, now imagine you do that within a family. Mm -hmm. Like say, you know, uh, a wife, you know, your wife, whoever out there, your wife, you know, borrows from her brother-in-law, somebody like that. And then the brother-in-law looking at you like you not shit. You know what I'm saying? Because she didn't come to you first and talk to you about the situation. And now, you you, you know what I'm saying, it's going through the family, your in-laws and whoever, that you're not shit. Yeah. You know, you, you got to, I mean, if you're, if you're going to put your family into your relationship, you should really just marry your cousin. <laughs> just marry your cousin. <laughs> hey. It ain't got to be a West Virginia thing. You can even marry your cousin tomorrow. You know, ain't nobody going to know. Somebody going to know. <laughs> Don't do that. Somebody going to know. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. No. Yeah. But I would definitely, I, I, you know, do I definitely are, am one of those people that are like fully understanding what the meaning of being married to a person and not their family is. And if you, if you want to get tips on that, if you're having a hard time with that, just just call me and I'll show you how easy it is to say, hmm, reject. Yeah, you have to. Uh, right and <laughs> a lot of people keep, but you really do have to establish boundaries. And this is why I say have conversations. Me and my husband, we have conversations about money. So we say to ourselves, when what is when we get ready to give somebody money, if they ask for it, we already know there's a possibility we're not going to see this money again. So if, if it's money that I need back, I can't give it to you. We've already made that, that had that conversation because what's going to happen is, and I've had this happen to me before, give me the 300. I'm going to do what I got to do. And I'm going to give you back them 300 so you can do what you got to do by this date. And when that day come, tumbleweed, crickets chirping, you're looking off in the abyss. Hello, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then you don't get that money back. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like. And had to throw the crickets in there right quick. <laughs> yeah. So don't don't loan people money that you need back. And I don't care what they say. If they can feel some type of way about, well, you always doing this. Okay. And what's your point? And what's your point? What's your point? And what's your point? You, you, you damn pocket watcher. Stop watching my pockets. No is a full um, sentence. No is a full sentence. No. Um, yeah, but when it comes to like in-laws and stuff like that, like we, you know, them borrowing money or even my own, you know, family borrowing money, anything like that. Like, you know, me and my wife, we, we talk deeply about it, you know, and I let her know most of the time that X, Y, Z is going to jump the fence. So don't really expect it back no time. So, <laughs> you know? yeah, I mean, they, they'll give it back, but they'll give it back like three, four months later. So, 
Don't expect it back right now at this moment. Um, I don't I don't believe in casting my pearls to the swine. Mm-hmm. So what I'm not about to do is I'm not about to give you money. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no way to make money. And you broke. And you're talking about you need to borrow $20 for gas. For where? <laughs> where you going? Where you going? What job you going to? And what car you got? I, well, I got to get these kids back and forth to school. Oh, well, I'll just give you that. Come by, come by the gas station. I'll fill up for you. Yeah. But $20? No. And you ain't got no way to make it back? No. Yeah. No. No, because I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to even get myself hyped up to expect it back. Nope. So I'd just rather just give you some gas, give you twenty dollars or whatever. But don't tell me, don't shoot me no BS, right. you know. And I'm not about to sit up here and jumping back to the main source of the topic. I'm not about to sit up here and argue with no nobody that I didn't grow up with, flesh and blood, um, with my in laws. Like I, I don't have to deal with you. I just don't. Right. You know, um, and I'm too busy focused on my household to be worried about anybody else's. Right. And that's that's a that's a big statement because there's so many people out there that want to keep up with the Joneses, and they more worried about what you're doing or how Tamika's husband is doing. Like that, that's not your focus. Your area of focus is your household right. and your household is your household. My area of focus is my household and whatever I'm doing for my household. Guess what? Everybody inside my house knows. I don't like nobody talking about what's going on inside of my house. Yeah. So. <laughs> He's almost sounded like Al Pacino and the Godfather. Oh, nobody asked me about my business. <laughs> That's right. I'm, look, I'm um. That's 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 the deepest I can give you to you. Don't don't ask me no no questions you don't want no answers to because I'm gonna give you some answers, but you probably won't like those answers. Yeah, you probably won't like those answers because the answer is gonna be mind your mother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this extends to also to um having people pull you into unnecessary drama. Ooh. Like don't don't fall into that trap. Cause there's people that are, I call them energy zappers, energy it, drainers. Like every time they call you, you look at the phone and you're just like, oh my God. You already know you gotta dedicate like an hour and a half to just them talking about every problem under the sun. And most of the time when you ask the questions, they're at the center of all the drama that that's going on in their lives, but they can't mm-hmm. be accountable for not one action. Not one, not one. That's why, you know, that's why I said at the beginning, you know, watch who you tell your business to. And that goes for your, your family and your in-laws. Watch who you tell your business to, because I've seen it happen so many times to where um, somehow the story ends up surrounded by you. Oh, well, me and Ray Ray got this problem. Da, 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 da. And you say, well, I can't help you. Well, I heard you and Fahim. There you go. There you go. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because you you don't told your cousin Rashida about you and Fahim's problems. And Rashida told your other cousin, Nene. That's on the phone with you right now because you know black people got all nicknames. <laughs> 18 nicknames. Nobody tell that you don't know nay one of your cousin's real names. <laughs> but she told Nene, and now Nene on the phone with you, spitting word for word what you told Rashida. Mm-hmm. Ain't that about a biscuit? Ain't nothing you can do about it, though. Right. Because you put your business up out there. So now you got your significant other being looked at in a different light. And now you're not going to tell them. No, you're just going to have him show up to family events and wonder why everybody looking at him funny. Yeah. I don't think your family like me. Man, they be tripping. Come on. 
No, tell him the truth. You don't told all your damn business. And now this is why they're looking at you all strange. And then when you start, you know, talking to people and start explaining what you're doing and how you're doing, and they're like, oh, oh, they sound so amazed. That's because you've been talked about very poorly or you've been talked about in another light. Like they don't, they don't know. So they think that you some bum. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I, I mean, I'm just spitting those scenarios out there because I've been there before. Mm-hmm. I've been there before, mm-hmm. you know, and I understand, you know, I've, I've seen it firsthand myself, <laughs> you know, but that's because I never really like to talk about myself anyway, or my business, you know, <laughs> this podcast is probably about the most I talk about anything that I've done, seen or been around or anything. So shout out to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I will always say like, and, and you, if you're a person in a relationship and you and your person are having problems, you have to be very cognizant of sharing that information, less is involved with your physical health, like you're in danger. Right. I'm very cautious of just going around telling people like little things that's that's happening between you and your partner because then it becomes a situation where the people are feeling animosity, like Kenny said, towards your person. And then even though y'all work things out, all people know is that this person, you said that this person did this thing. And of course, when you know there, there's three sides to every story. There's my version, your version, and there's what actually happened. Isn't true? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you're going to tell it to your perspective. So you not right. even telling the people what you did to cause whatever thing happened between you and your person. And so now everybody feeling some type of way about the other person. And now y'all back, y'all all lovey-dovey, but everybody still have this feeling towards the person. So it's like, if it's just a little spat, I don't know everybody don't need to know all that. You know, right. you know, everybody know relationships ain't 100% all the time. Sometimes you get on each other's nerves. Yeah. And that's just the fact yeah. of the matter. That's humans. Yeah. Yeah. Humans get on humans' nerves. I, I'm going to tell you 85 I'm, times listen. yesterday somebody got on my damn nerves. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm... I'm so in tune with stuff that even if you got on my nerves, mm-hmm. I'm not going to really say nothing. I'm just going to look over and be like, let me go sit down. Yep. <laughs> let me go sit down somewhere because y'all bugging. That's the first thing I say is y'all are bugging because no, I'm not about to let you get on my nerves and I'm not about to tell nobody anything about you getting on my nerves because I love you. And I want to keep you protected. Yeah. See, that's that's me right there. Me and my brother, we're both Virgos, late August Virgos. <laughs> you start tapping that nerve, I got two two modes. Either I'm going to go silent and disappear, or I'm going to go to the point where it's just going to end the friendship forever. <laughs> so it's like, just let me be. If I just go quiet, walk away, <laughs> walk away, walk away. Yeah, I'm I'm a quiet builder. <laughs> so what I do is, yeah, I guess it's just a Sagittarius in me because I want to creatively destroy you when I do decide to destroy you. So what I do is, I just be quiet and I sit in the background, and just let it build, 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 build. And then one day you hit that bad nerve to where all oh, that's just say, <laughs> and I just eat you alive. And you'd be like, what? <clears throat> oh, damn. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Yeah, I remember. Oh, you thought I was just going to let it all just slide? You just keep on doing shit. Like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yep. And with all that said, if you have not watched every episode and let it build, <laughs> Then it's just going to collapse on you because they're just going to keep on coming. And if you want to watch all those episodes and catch up on some of our older stuff, you can go to www.ysgpodcast.com. 
we have blogs we have a link to the store there check it out and if nobody told you today that they love you we do y'all have a nice week stay out of trouble keep your business to yourself to yourself keep your business out the streets and we'll see you next go round peace out Yes, 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 yes,